we're doing here, it's the so-called five blocks of teaching from Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew, which contrast Jesus with Moses. So I found a, a little bit of a contrast here in Exodus 34, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapters 30 to 32, and number 16, you have a similar contrast there where Moses finished those things mm. after he gave the law or gave parts of the law, mm. or he talked about the covenant, and then it says Moses finished teaching the people. So all those you see on the screen, Matthew 7, 28 is the end of the first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Matthew 11, 1, the end of the second. Matthew 13, 53, the end of the third. And Matthew 19, 1, the end of the fourth. Yes. So the fifth ends in Matthew 26, verse 1. So the Gospel of Matthew opens up, actually, the Gospel with the contrast of Moses and Jesus' birth. So Jesus goes into exile or goes to Egypt, if you remember, to escape the persecution of Herod, the king. So we already have comparisons there in the first two chapters. Jesus' teaching is the fulfillment of Torah. Matthew 5, 17 is the go-to, right? Mm. Jesus said, I did not come to abolish the law, but fulfill it. You'll note that the formula Matthew uses oftentimes to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. So again, this goes to Jesus' own saying about fulfillment of things that were said, not only about the Messiah, the person of the Messiah, but the law, the Torah. And you find that throughout Matthew, as you see there in Matthew 1, 2, chapters 4, 8, and so on. Matthew also identifies Jesus with the nation of Israel. So in Matthew 2, 15, right, the Exodus I was talking about from Egypt, and it's the most so-called Jewish of the Gospels, this Matthew. There are at least 50, 5 zero, 50 Old Testament quotations and allusions in this Gospel. That's by far the most of any Gospel.